What a mad end to the Mexico City e -Prix. It never fails to deliver. And so what happens here? Did you just snatch the rears? Into the wall. There we go. He locked his front in. Locked his front up all the way in. On the whoa, goodness me, he's only on a 170 and he plows through, and that is a big moment for Nelson Piquet. Yeah, it swings in, doesn't it, on the way in, and then just can't get it stopped. Yeah, it was just very optimistic, breaking marker. Buemi might be close enough on the run down towards turn one. He's going to look to the inside line, but Daniel Apps will try and cover. Buemi looks to the outside line and goes through around the outside. Great move from Sebastian Buemi. He's got fan boost as well, Lucas Degrassi, of course, and he's using it now. Here comes Lucas Degrassi. Pushes the fan boost, and D'Ambrosio covers the inside line, and Degrassi still tries to look to the inside line. So close between them, Degrassi locks up, manages to get it stopped in time, and takes the lead of the Mexico E3. Degrassi went for it, got alongside, still very close, still very dusty and dirty offline. Here comes Buemi up the inside, coming down into one. Buemi saying, what was that? Uh, and maybe swearing, my French isn't good enough, but I know Comsa is what was that. And a, it was a last minute move across from D'Ambrosio. Here comes Sebastian Buemi, tries to squeeze up the inside. Goodness me, how close between the two of them there. Buemi's going to look to the inside. Oh, he's into the back of him. They come together and they go both straight over the chicane. Jesus, he completely crashed into me. D'Ambrosio furious with that. It didn't look to me as though D'Ambrosio actually made too much of a move that time no. through. So you're coming down. D'Ambrosio kind of drives in the middle. De no, Buemi turns yeah, left into him. This is that's pretty much on Buemi's shoulders there. That's, that's unfortunate. It's kind of silly to do when you, you yeah. have the car that he does and the position he does. It's, it's silly. Still a mistake. This was uh, Nick Heidfeld losing out and Sam Bird all over the back of the Mahindra driver as well. Meanwhile, back to this battle for second place. D'Ambrosio under pressure. Look from the inside from Buemi. He's darting around in the mirrors. He's trying to go around the outside. Great attempt from Sebastian Buemi. Surely he cut across the track there and he, he can't. The he the I think D'Ambrosio made my point there. So let's see what happens here with Sebastian Buemi. Is he going to give that place back an audacious attack? But And here comes Prost attacking, and they're going to make contact there. And this is really difficult times for D'Ambrosio. Buemi slowing down, D'Ambrosio's going wide through, goes Prost. And I think Buemi's trying to slow to give the place back. And now that means Prost is through and Apt is through. And D'Ambrosio, apologies for the language, but he is absolutely livid. And so he goes straight over the chicane himself to try and get back past. It's like the Wild West. <laughs> like, it's like wacky races. And has he done it now? Yes, he has. So Buemi has let D'Ambrosio back through into that second place. Buemi tried to let D'Ambrosio through, put him on the outside line. As a result, D'Ambrosio lost all the positions, dropped right back. So at the next corner, he just said, no, 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 no. That's not cool. I was in second place. I'm going back to second place. But here comes Sebastian Buemi, right under the wheels. And it's side by side for second. Goodness me, and Buemi is livid with D'Ambrosio. I don't, I don't mind him closing the door, you know, but he, he has to close earlier. It's, you know, when I'm already committed to overtake him and he, and, he, and he closed the door, all of a sudden I can't avoid touching him, you know, so I'm, I'm really disappointed by this because even the race direction I felt didn't say anything and, you know, it could be dangerous, you know, if you either move earlier or, or you don't move, you know, you can't move while I'm already more or less there. Duval in the wall. There was Loic Duval. Back end goes. Hello, Mr. Barrier. Not ideal at all for the Frenchman, and that means he will start down in last place. Alan McNish, tough day for both your boys so far. Yeah, Daniel uh, obviously qualified very well at the front. The technical infringement meant that uh, he's back here at the back of the grid. But we saw from Lucas in Hong Kong in the first round, he came from uh, down in this position and finished up at the front in second place. So it's all to play for still, Dario. You know that. He's a long way down the order, but he's still in front of 15th place man Lucas de Grassi. Yeah, Lucas just it didn't come together in qualifying at all. He's got a lot of work ahead of him today if he's going to close that gap to Sebastian Buemi at the front of the championship.
But it is the pole man, Oliver Turvey, on his 30th birthday. Alongside him on the front row is Jose Maria Lopez, Jean-Eric Verne and Nick Heidfeld in third and fourth. All five lights are on and we go green in Mexico City. Good start from Oliver Turvey. Very good start as well from Jean-Eric Verne. Can he challenge on the run down towards the first corner? Couldn't quite find the inside line and that's going to allow Heidfeld through. Heidfeld's into third place. Are we all going to get through safely further back? Looks as though we are just about. Degrassi does a little bit of grass cutting. Loses out as a result, Verne. Fifth for Bird, sixth for... Oh, and there's an accident in there. And that is going to be Maro Engel, who's gone into the back of Lucas Degrassi. Degrassi will hope he hasn't picked up too much damage there. We'll keep an eye out on that apt car further back. Oh, it's rear wing. Ah, it's gone, rear yeah. wings. There you can see the damage on the back of uh, Lucas Degrassi's car. There's no doubt he will be forced to come into the pits. Yeah, no, yeah they're going to change it. Here we go. So, and the good news for Degrassi is it's a safety car, not a full course yellow. If it were a full course yellow, then they would have to come out of the pits at a slow speed. If it's a safety car, he can zoom back up as long as he doesn't lose a lap. This will feel like Forever. a day. Oh, he's sitting there and he's got no concept of time. A day. There we go. Fantastic. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. And there's the attack. And through goes Buemi past Felix Rosenquist and up into sixth position. So championship leader Buemi takes a place and is up to sixth. Oh, but oh, is that Turvey slowing? Is that Oliver Turvey slowing down, it the is. race leader? Down the start, finish straight, we're on board with Lopez, but Turvey is slowing down. There he is. Oh, no. From the lead of the race, Oliver Turvey has run into trouble. Heartbreak. What a shame for the Englishman. But here we go, oh, there's so close there. And there's a problem for the Andretti car. That is Antonio Felix da Costa. Here comes the outside, look, oh, he's lost it. Oh, he's lost oh, it and he's no. gone. Lopez bins it at turn one. And what a shame, and Buemi bins it with him. Incredible. Buemi was trying to overtake around the outside. Goodness oh. me. And then... <laughs> Buemi's thinking, oh, Buemi's no. on the grass, he's I think. thinking, no, I'm not going to hit him, surely. <laughs> Whoa, there goes Rosenquist. Rule number one, don't take your teammate out, though. <laughs> <laughs> Great driving by both of them. D'Ambrosio knew it was a good run. He breaks, breaks, breaks. Where's Bird going to go in all of this? Can he get a run? Goodness me, this is proper defensive stuff from Jerome D'Ambrosio. And here comes Bird. Oh, Has he got the, the overlap? Has he got the overlap? Burns on the outside. Where's Bird? Behind. Oh, there go the Mahindras. Bird gets a hit. <laughs> hey, what? Not like the excitement. No, indeed. Here's our uh, here's our race leader then, Lucas de Grassi. Across the line, nine laps to go for the Brazilian. Bern, in theory, can lap a second a lap faster than he's doing now. So if he gets past Ambrosio, he should be able to get to the back of de Grassi before too long. This all came from de Grassi pitting while the safety car was out. Came out with less usable energy than everyone else, but at the moment, the game is working out for him. Yeah, but time's ticking away for Jean-Eric Vernier. Through the oh, turn 13 big lock oh, he's not, a mistake. In the wall, in this the wall. It. Not quite. Vern tries to get the inside. D'Ambrosio closed the door. It. But this has to be it now for Jean-Eric Vern. He's up into second place, and he has now got to sprint if he wants to take the grassy and win the Mexico City E Prix. And here comes Nico Prost. He hits him. Oh. Round goes Heidfeld, pirouetting in the stadium, oh, no. and then a shunt. And the two teammates hit each other. Mitch Evans is caught up in all of that as well. They all get going. That's going to be a safety car. Yes, and that could clinch the race for Lucas de Grassi. So here is Rosenquist. He's going to try and get back to the pits. He's not going to be able to turn left here. He just clipped him, spun. These guys have got nowhere to go. And there's a result. So yeah, Nico Prost did cause that collision. It wasn't malicious, I don't think. But And then you see the two Mahindras hit each other. I want to tell you what. Jagger finished P4 and he was <laughs> and he was sideways there. That was was that Mitch? Mm -hmm. Oh good job, Mitch. And here comes Sam Bird now. He's gonna go around the outside. Oh, Can he get this one done? There. Oh what a move from Brilliant Sam Bird! Move. An early pit stop behind the safety car. Looked like a gamble. Looked like it wasn't gonna pay off, but it's victory for Degrassi in Mexico. Fantastic. And what a drive that was from Degrassi. Absolutely exceptional from the Brazilian.
it's a perfect opportunity for the second place man in the title hunt, Felix Rosenquist, on pole position to try and fight back. Alongside him on the front row is Oliver Turvey. Buemi and Da Costa are on row two. Reigning champion Lucas Degrassi starts at the back. All five lights are on. And we go green in Mexico City. It's a decent start from Rosenquist. Turvey's trying to pull alongside him, but Rosenquist comes across, covers it nicely. Buemi looking racy, and Daniel App looks to the outside. Great start from the German for Audi. He has made up a place. Everybody's safely through the first corner. Lucas Degrassi has already made up one place. This is where the concertina tends to happen, though. Coming down into turn three, look at Jean-Eric Verne up the inside of two cars. Side by side with De Costa. There's a bit of bodywork flying further back, but predominantly we're safe safely through, but a really feisty start to the race. And Lucas de Grassi has just made up a position up past Luca Filippi, and now 16th place. <laughs> Turvey was leading this race last year when his car broke down, so have I just jinxed it? Wouldn't be the first time. No, that's true. Of the Rosenquist is slowing, race leader Felix Rosenquist in the Mahindra, it's crawling, Oliver Turvey is into the lead of the Mexico City E-Prix and Rosenquist is out of contention and it has that tyres but he's now in last place. Oh my goodness, and I was just about to say he had picked up the fast lap of the race to this point. In front of him. And he stopped, oh, he stopped again. again. Felix Rosenquist is not going to score big here in Mexico City, and he is going to slide away from the championship lead. And what an opportunity this is for Sebastian Buemi in second place to bring himself into the fight. So there is Daniel Apt. He'll, uh, well, let's see what happened then. Here we go on board with him coming down into turn one. Buemi covers the inside line. Oh, he's made a mistake. Buemi's thrown it away oh, in the second dear. position. I mean, yeah, he went, got on the dirty part of the track, Jack trying to defend, and, and you see the result, look. Here we go then. This is where it gets very, very busy in the pit lane. Remember, Turvey came in in front of Daniel Apt. PK staying out for another lap in the Jaguar. So Nelson PK staying out for an extra lap in the Jaguar. Now it's a case of changing over your cars as quickly as possible. Turvey leaps out of one, leaps into the other. Did Turvey hit the, the toolbox at the end with the nose of the car? Yeah, quite possibly. Using it as an extra break. There's Daniel Apt. Now Apt is further down the pit lane than Turvey, so he may well have to wait. There goes Apt, he's done it! Daniel Apt out! And has leapfrogged Oliver Turvey. Turvey has been held up behind Prost. Vern is right behind Turvey, but that gives Daniel Apt the net lead of the Mexico City E Prix. Fantastic pit work from the Audi team. And the young man is out in front. There's Lotter at Oh! Yeah, I feel your pain on that one. Ouchie. Oof. Garage. Oh, Turvey's made a mistake. And this is going to allow Jean-Eric Byrne the opportunity to challenge for second position. Neo of Oliver Turvey covers the inside line. Vern on the outside for Tachita as they come down towards turn one. Turvey should be able to hold that for the moment. He does. No, oh, and there's a car stopped. Is that, is that Rosenquist? Is it Heidfeld? It looks like Heidfeld. It it's is. Heidfeld. It's the other Mahindra of Nick Heidfeld. Here comes Buemi using his fan boost up the inside of Jean-Eric Verne. And that now is third position for the Swiss driver. Verne will try and fight back immediately, but Buemi using the fan boost to perfection there. And he's up into the podium positions. So Degrassi up into the points. Engel has dropped a long way down the order. We'll keep an eye on that one. Here comes Buemi. Locks up. They both lock up. And they both just make it through. Turvey almost locked up in reaction. So Buemi locking up behind him. Daniel Abt is going to win for Audi. Their winless streak is over. Abt victorious in Mexico. Second across the line is Oliver Turvey. Third is Buemi, a first ever podium for Oliver Turvey. And there is delight at Neo for their first podium. There's delight at Audi for their first win of the season. Astonishing stuff. On the right-hand side, it's Pascal Verlein in the Mahindra. Alongside him on the front row, Lucas de Grassi, a man who has won here before. All five lights are on. And we're green in Mexico City. It's a good start from de Grassi. So Verlein comes over to cover the inside. Mass has got a good start as well as they spread out into turn one. And there goes Roland up the inside into second place. What a move from the British driver.
fourth to second in the first quarter. Verlein still leads, Roland second, to Grassi third. Up into fourth place has gone Boemi. Felipe Massa has lost a couple of places. Now they come into this first pitch point on the circuit. Is everyone going to get through relatively safely? Yes, so it's a far, bit yes. messy, but nothing too bad. What a start from Roland, Dario. Oh, oh there's a chaos. Absolute chaos. Alexander Sims involved. It looks as though there One was the Jaguars. Jaguar debris in there. Oh, and there is. And that is Nelson Piquet. And Nelson Piquet in the Jaguar has Jack had Cassie. a very big accident. On board with him. This is him through turn 13, 12, actually. So he's coming through 13 now. So he looks to the inside. Oh, oh wow. Got airborne. And when you've got airborne like that, you have no brakes. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Here's a look at it again. Keep your eyes to the right hand side. PK went to the inside, Vern came across to cover wow. it. Wow, that's a big hit, a side slap as well, that really can damage the bones and the pelvis. And how did Sims get involved? Did Spinning he just get wiped avoid. out by Vern? Let's see how late the defense is from John Ernst. Look at him looking in his mirror and he just keeps coming across. And there's the contact. Now oh, yeah. pointed out pre-race. Yeah, there's... And there's Sims getting hit. As we pointed out pre-race, the driver cannot see. That's a scary accident. That was rubber to rubber contact. I had one of those, it didn't end well. And that always leads to a launch. Look at Roland now, he's all over the back of race leader Pascal Verlein. Roland's going for him. Attack mode, can he hold the position? No, he's missed the mistake! And through goes to Grassi into second place. It slips away from Oliver Roland. Because oh, his teammate, no, they say they teammates, oh. they touched. Ah. Roland hitting with his teammate, and now they are both out of race win contention. Because they have dropped so far back, and I think Degrassi has lost a lot of ground too because of, his, because of him trying to get through. That Roland. allows, allows Degrassi to focus purely on Berline. Don't worry about being defensive. There goes, there goes into attack Berline. mode. Yep, keeps Pascal the lead. Berline keeps the lead, but now Degrassi is right with him, and they've got the same amount of power. Absolutely knows the tail. Degrassi trying to hug the inside into turn three. It's just not close enough. He's got 10 seconds of attack mode left. And here's the drivers' championship. Pascal Verline will take the lead of the championship. He would go as a rookie. 50 points, three points clear of his teammate Jerome D'Ambrosio. Third would be seven points back. Again, this is where he struggles right through this section. Berlin's having to lift and coast jack, which we haven't seen all day. Lucas Degrassi looking for his ninth. Now he's got 7% remaining, so that's 2% less than Degrassi. Armour Hindra getting a bit nervous, but they're going to run out of battery. Sounds like it. But Roland's got 6%. Nerves Alan's on the face crazy. of Alan McNish. No, I don't see Lucas him. crossing, start finish, three laps to go. Oh, here line. comes Degrassi to the outside. We are like 2% less. Three, three laps to go with 6%. That's a heck of a That's a long run. This is tough. 5%. Ah, we feel your pain, Alan. I feel And we... Everybody said this would be a flat-out race. But it did. It has not transpired. And that was a, it's a shortened race as well. Yeah, over the finish line. Oh, once more. Two laps to go. Here two comes Lucas. Verline covers the inside. He knows he has oh, to lift. Really tight. Degrassi to the outside. Still not enough. Verline saying, I'm watch really tight. And watch out as well for Roland. Roland's got 2%. He's not going to make it. Roland's not going to make Neither this finish. Boemi's got 2% as well. Oh, this and miscalculated. Miscalculated because of the race restart and the red flag and all the chaos that has ensued over the course of this Mexico City e -Prix. Here they come, Roland's got 1%, it's done for Nissan. It's over for Nissan. A third and fourth place finish is down the drain. J'ai plus d'énergie! J'ai plus d'énergie! C'est ce que je t'ai dit, on s'est trompé. C'est pas possible, purée! Mais putain de merde! J'ai honte, j'ai honte. C'est. Vous êtes. Christophe, il était pas. Il pouvait pas voir que. Il y a. Il est resté. Pourquoi il avait 2% de plus que moi à l'autre? No, we can't. It's never happened in 5 years. Through they come out of the final corner. Unless for some reason there's the checkered flag now, but there won't be. Because that's not no. how the race no. works. On to the final lap of the race. Verline lifts. Degrassi attacks. Going to do it as much as you can. We and he can't are. do it. But can he do it into three? Nissans are, Nissans are in all kinds this of trouble. Is last lap. Here they Trying come. to do as much as you can. D'Ambrosio covering the inside line. It was and Lucas. Uh, 
Contact. Degrassi on the inside and Verline goes straight no. on. And he cuts the chicane and he doesn't stop and that's in the regulations. And this is going to run and run. This is going to be a post-race investigation, I fear, as to who is going to win the e prix unless the BMW of Da Costa gets involved as well. Verline's got 1%. Montara's got former. I think Montara's probably the only guy getting there to the finish. He's gone from sixth the, to fourth. The Nissans are out of this one. Verline, can he get to the line before he hits zero percent? That's going to be the big question. Who's going to win it. the Mexico City Epre? Degrassi goes for it. Verline covers. He's defending like an absolute Why? demon. Demon. <laughs> Here comes Verline out of the final zero. corner. He hits zero. zero. Degrassi wins. Degrassi wins. <laughs> City Epre, it never fails to deliver.